Welcome to AUSA's Army Matters Podcast, focusing on what's important to the total Army community. We bring vital Army conversations and interviews on issues relevant to soldiers, military families, and all of you amazing Army supporters. Rotating each week, our show includes Soldier Today, Army Real Talk, Family Voices, and Thought Leaders. Let's tune into the show. I am Nzinga Curry, AUSA's Director of Education and Programs and host of the Army Real Talk podcast segment. Today's segment is a bit special, not only because it's the 200th episode, but also because this is the last segment of Army Real Talk. But don't worry, listeners, the Army Matters podcast series is not ending. Instead, we are growing. And I invited my first podcast co-host, Lieutenant Colonel Brad Cooper, to help me close out this segment as well as share some of the new and exciting endeavors we have in store for you. Welcome, Lieutenant Colonel Cooper. How are you doing? I'm doing great, ma'am, and a happy new year to you and your family. How is your Master Sergeant retired father doing? He is wonderful. He enjoyed his holiday as well. Thanks for asking. That's good. I hope Santa Claus brought him everything. And then uh, (laughs) what did you do over the holidays? I had a really good holiday. I ate a lot, of course. I relaxed. And I actually had some educational experiences where I learned a fun fact. So let me ask you a question. Did you know that Stan Lee, the creative mind behind Marvel Comics, served in the United States Army? Isn't that awesome? Oh, Yeah, that is great. That is great. And you know me, I'm a huge Marvel fan. So what did you learn about him in World War II? So he enlisted, yes, in 1942 during the height of World War II. And according to Wonderly, an Amazon company, his skills that he acquired as far as a creative writer and things of that nature was heightened when he was in the Army because he actually created training materials. And he attributed the Army to being really instrumental to his career outside of the Army. So that was really, really cool. I was like, oh, yes, look how the Army continues to work. No, that's and very I, cool. You know, and as I say, again, I'm a huge Marvel fan. My whole entire house is a huge Marvel fan. And, <laughs> yeah, we definitely went and saw the new Spider-Man movie over the holiday break. But also, did you know, speaking of just famous folks and read up on, and we watched this movie while we were over the holidays is one of our traditions. But, you know, everyone liked the 1940s It's a Wonderful Life movie with Jimmy Stewart in there who plays George Bailey. Mm-hmm. He, at the height of his career, stopped acting and joined the Army and became an aviator, and he basically, they stuck him, because of his high profile, they stuck him as a trainer for a while, and he just kept bugging his chain of command that he wanted to go to the front line and fight. So they finally put him on the front line working with the British soldiers, and he came out of there uh, earning three uh, flying crosses and was a great war hero. So that was something that I've learned, too. See, that is so noble. I love hearing about those who have served, how the Army actually elevates folks' careers. And speaking of which, we have to slow down a bit because you have something to share, don't you, Lieutenant Colonel? Share with our listening audience how things have changed since the last time you were on this podcast. So what's new? So as you guys well know, I am promoted now to Lieutenant Colonel as of 1 March of last year. And I am still currently on the Army Talent Management Task Force that currently falls under the G1. And The biggest, greatest thing that's happened for me and my family, I went to the Battalion Command Assessment Program back in 2020, and I was selected for Battalion Command. So come this spring, on 18 May, I'm supposed to be taking the guide on for the 194th Division Sustainment Support Battalion underneath the 2nd Division Sustainment Brigade at Camp Humphreys in Korea. So. I'm extremely excited because that's all I ever wanted to do ever since I was a little kid was be a battalion commander, or really not as a little kid, but ever since I joined the Army, but be a battalion commander. I'm just excited for myself and my family to experience that new chapter in life. Awesome. Well, congratulations, and thank you. Thank you for your continued service. And I know your family is going to be excited and supportive, so very cool. Great Army family. So I wanted you to join me to, yes, for us to catch up, but also to share with our listeners some of the things that are going on with Army Real Talk. But before we do that, let's highlight the fact that we have made it to our 200th episode, and we'll do that by highlighting a few of our favorite episodes. So let me start, let me start, because I have to give 
recognition for those who are in the Army who do great and wonderful things across the board. But my favorite segment, it was actually we did two over the course of three years, is the other side of the Army. And the first one I did with you, Lieutenant Colonel Cooper. I really enjoyed just learning about the other side of the Army. We talked to divers. We had opportunity to just learn that there is more to the Army than just getting out there and going and being deployed. But I also last year in 2021 heard from a musician as well as some folks from the Golden Knights and how they have an exciting job, such as jumping out of a plane. That's part of their job. They do it for a number of reasons. But just the fact that I had a chance to jump out of a plane once, I'm like, what? You do that for a living? That is just too exciting. So that is, I definitely say, by far one of my most favorite podcast segments on the Army Real Talk. That was a great episode. And not only that, we also got to talk to the Warrior Fitness team as well, too, and the eSport team. So bottom line, all those guys do is work out every day. And the eSport team guys, they just play video games all day. I mean, (laughs) who knew you could actually just do that for the Army, which was great. Excellent. Yes. I'm like, that right there should be a marketing tool for the Army. Like, really? All the video game lovers? Absolutely. So I would say my second favorite or one of the top was this summer I had opportunity to host a segment on the Summer Olympics. And I was able to learn more about how the Army is involved with the Olympics, how they represent Team USA, how they are able to use their skills, use their training from the Army to compete. And many times we have seen them bring home medals. And I think that is so cool. And I think that is just, again, a testament of the diversity that you see within the United States Army. Yeah, that was a really cool episode as well. Those guys and gals are doing it on their own time. I mean, case in point, the specialist out of 4th ID at Fort Carson, you know, she's representing Miss Colorado in the Miss America pageants here soon. It's just amazing what these soldiers can do on their off time and being a full-time soldier. So it's just great. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I want to move away from Army Real Talk, although I love, of course, Army Real Talk. I'm a little biased. Um, And just look at the Army Matters segment as a whole, okay? So we have the Soldier Today, we have Family Voices, and then, of course, Thought Leaders, and some special editions. And speaking of special editions, one of my favorite was the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, and they commemorated the 100th anniversary, and they talked about the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, just giving tribute to those who served, giving tribute to those who We might not know their name, but we know that they gave their lives for the United States Army, for our country. And that touched me in such a way because I think about the possible family members as well as how our country should really look at the meaning behind those who served and how it truly is a source of inspiration. So that was one of my, I'll say, top 10 favorite episodes for the special edition segments. And then I really got into the thought leader segment on Eagle Down. It talked about Afghanistan, the war there, and how the United Special Forces had played a role, of course. But it was a story shared by author Jessica Donaty, who really talked to our host, Joe Craig, about her book, Eagle Down. I would even say it was really aspirational how she dived into looking at the Green Berets and talked about folks on the front line and how they had to deal and fight against the Taliban. I guess it really opened my eyes of understanding the war and understanding it a little bit better, especially since right now that is really a conversation that is being had. So I really very much enjoyed that episode as well. Yeah, those thought leader episodes are always great, especially when Joe Craig is hosting them. I mean, I think Joe's writing his own book right now on his experience with AUSA and all these other authors that he's got to meet and stuff like that, which he'll probably host his own podcast, talk about his own book here very soon, probably. (laughs) Perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely. So those are a few of my favorite episodes. So, Lieutenant Colonel Cooper, what are some of your favorite episodes from Army Matters Podcast? Well, ma'am, not only Army Matters Podcast, but Thought Leaders and Soldier Today, first off, I have to say is, All of the Army talent management episodes that you guys graciously hosted for us, just getting the word out there and all the initiatives that we're doing for our personnel reform. From my director and myself and the rest of my team, we truly appreciate you guys helping us getting the word out to everybody. 
But some of my own personal favorites, one I always truly uh, adore was the the Leading Soldiers one that you and I did. It was probably like our sixth or seventh episode. It's one of our earlier ones where we got to talk to former battalion commander and a company commander and then your very own First Sergeant Steve Conoco on there as well, too, where they just gave some real raw leadership advice on how to handle daily stuff that would definitely help leaders among the force. So that was always a great one. That was um, a good one. Actually, funny thing about it is it was definitely targeted to the United States Army, but their leadership tips could be incorporated with leaders beyond the Army. So that was really good. Yeah, absolutely. And then a couple of the other ones that I really liked, you know, especially the person that replaced me, Lieutenant Colonel Eugene Irby, he did a really good one on finance because, I mean, that's his background. That's what he does. So it was great to hear his perspective on how the Army handles its finances and basically all the way down to how soldiers should be handling their finances. So that was a lot of great advice that he provided. And one thing I really do appreciate about you guys, and I mean, just the entire AUSA staff and everyone bringing their ideas to the table, but it was how you guys tackle the current issues of what's going on within the world or within the Army or even in our sister services, all that relates all the way down to the lowest ranking soldier and also includes their families and provides hopefully everybody some little nuggets of how they can help them within their career, help them within just their daily decision-making process or whatever the case may be for them. That was always uh, appreciative within all your uh, 200 episodes. Very nice. Thank you for mentioning that. You know, AUSA works really hard to focus on the total Army as well as the different aspects of the Army. So thank you for noting So listeners, we're going to take a quick pause and we will continue this discussion after the following message. Have you purchased your AUSA swag yet? Be proud to show your support for AUSA, which in turn shows your support for the U.S. Army and our soldiers. Check out all AUSA swag at shop.ausa.org. So Lieutenant Colonel Cooper, I am sure that all the listeners are wondering what else we have underway. You know, we had a great opportunity to reminisce a bit about the episodes, our highlighted episodes, but let's talk about the future. So, you know, I wear a few hats, which includes being the host of Army Real Talk, as well as the executive producer of AUSA's Army Matters podcast series. And so I am going to hang up the hat of host and really focus on taking the podcast series to the next level. So me- So, so hold on a second, hold, so hold on a second, Nzinga. So if you're hanging up being the host, who do you have in mind that's gonna replace you? Because you know, that's some big shoes to fill right there. I appreciate that, it's been a great question. So we are so looking forward to, starting in February, we will have a new segment called Leading Great Teams, and that will be hosted by Colonel Retired Scott Halstead. And he is AUSA's director of the Center for Leadership. And this is actually a new directorate. And he is so excited about future endeavors. But he's given us a little sneak peek when he did special edition segments from the 82nd Airborne series, how they focused on leaving Afghanistan. Ma'am, that sounds great. Definitely you're going to be missed. But tell me more about how you guys are going to rebrand this whole podcast series. What's it going to look like? So me, along with my co-producers, LaSharon Duncan and Carrie V, we will be building up the series. We are going to introduce sound design. We are going to have storytelling, and we're going to have more engaging content for our listeners. Our goal is really to expand our reach as well as foster the listening relationship that we have with our current listeners. So we have exciting things for not just interviewing, but having stories about the great United States Army. That's cool. That sounds awesome. So what you're telling me is I'm going to have to like not only listen to you guys, but I'm going to have to close my eyes so I can see all the fancy sounds and all the flashy lights, you know, in the storytelling arc that you guys are going to be producing, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you're going to be thrust into the story. And one thing I have learned that when you hear a good story, that is something that stays with you. It really connects and engage our audience. So that's what we're looking forward to doing. That's great, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. And I remember Colonel Retired Halstead's segment with the 82nd. I was talking about helping out the Afghans when we were getting out of Afghanistan. That was a great episode, especially, you know, speaking from the soldiers' experience and just helping our Afghan supporters. 
Absolutely. And we'll have more of that. So we're really excited. And then we're going to have a few special surprises. I'll say that for our listeners. We're looking at folks to help us promote the relaunch of Army Matters podcast series. So we're really excited. And one of the good things is we have a little bit of time as we're looking at the June and July time frame. So when that time comes, we will be ready to, I'll say, wow our audience. I mean, I'm putting those words behind it because I feel that strong about it. So like I said, I'm really excited and so delighted of our relaunch that will be coming up in the June, July time frame. Ma'am, I am a huge fan already, and I'm looking very much forward to it. I still keep saying this, and I've probably said this on multiple podcasts, but I'm still waiting for you to do a live video blog, you know, like bringing to you live in person from the AUSA annual meeting or Global Force or Land Pack or something, which would be cool. So you can bring that audience directly to it. But, you know, that's maybe for another time, and you might even task me to help you out with that. Absolutely. You know, we are actually looking at innovative ways to continue to grow. So that is not off of the options of possibilities. So we'll see. We will see. But we are dwindling down and I definitely want to close things up. I really enjoy talking to you, Lieutenant Colonel Cooper, and I am so, so excited about what AUSA has in store. But I definitely have to take a pause and say, Lieutenant Colonel Cooper, thank you so much for everything that you have done for the Army, your service, as well as for AUSA. You have played a huge role in the development of AUSA's podcast series, as well as, of course, being my co-host, the first co-host of Army Real Talk. I really appreciate all that you do and that you continue to do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, ma'am, thank you. And it's definitely made me a better person. I've definitely learned a lot and I appreciate your support. And LaSharon and Carrie, even Kevin, he's one of the guys that work behind the scenes, Kevin as well, too, and Pat. So your entire team is incredible. So thank you for allowing me just to have that opportunity and for my voice to be out there in the uh, virtual world. Appreciate it. And I wanted, you know, also carry on my thank yous to our listeners. Listeners, thank you so much for what? Well, listening as well as subscribing, sharing this podcast and continue to talk about a USA Army Matters podcast. You know, listeners, we would not be among the top podcasts within the government category of Apple Podcasts, woo, woo, nor would we be averaging over 800 downloads per episode without your wow, support. That's a lot. That is, you know, the national average is only about 200 downloads. So I'm very proud of us for downloading over 800 per episode. So very cool. Mm -hmm. Listeners, thank you. You guys have definitely developed a branding over the last 36 months. I remember when we were only hitting like 200, maybe 250 for the first few episodes. But yeah, you guys have definitely taken off. And we attribute that to our faithful listeners. And we want to continue to engage and stimulate their minds and just have an enjoyable podcast where they can be educated as well as informed. So we're going to close things up. Lieutenant Colonel Cooper, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. This is indeed our last Army Real Talk segment, but we have more to come with our Army Matters podcast series. So stay tuned. To all our listeners, thanks for joining us. Be sure to subscribe to the Army Matters podcast on iTunes and everywhere podcasts are found. The Army Matters podcast series is brought to you by the Association of the United States Army. The U.S. Army's Professional Association, member-supported, Army-connected. Visit us at AUSA.org for more information or to become a member. Your membership helps AUSA continue to carry out its mission to educate, inform, and connect with the total Army, our industry partners, and our supporters of a strong national defense. For questions or to provide topic recommendations, email us at podcast at AUSA.org. Have a great Army day. Cool.